Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a rounding error on your TI-84 Plus CE. This is also applicable for similar models such as the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. So without further ado, let's get to it. Right now, if I try to compute 1 divided by 3, so I'll type in 1 divide 3 and press enter the calculator returns an answer of 0. Similarly, if I did a natural log of 3, I'll have to close the parentheses and press enter, I get 1 and I know that 1 third doesn't give me 0 and natural log of 3 doesn't give me just 1. So what the calculator is doing is rounding to the nearest whole number. To change that, press the mode button and arrow down until the cursor is highlighting on float. Right now the option is set at zero which means the calculator will round to the nearest whole number. If for example I chose seven then there would be seven decimal places to each of my answers. Right now since it's set at zero, there's no decimal places. So once the cursor is blinking on seven, for example, I'll press enter. And now let's hit second mode to select the quit option. This time try one divided by three again. And notice that we get a much longer answer. However, there's one downside of choosing a certain number of decimal places. So right now we got seven decimal places. But if we did something like one divided by two, enter, notice we still get seven decimal places even though we don't need it. So to fix this, what we're going to do is go back to mode and arrow down until the cursor is blinking on float. Just press enter and arrow up or down just to make sure that float is highlighted in black and then second mode to quit and this time try one divided by three press enter we get a really long uh, decimal answer and now let's do one divided by two press equals and we get just 0 0.5 so in the float option the calculator chooses how many decimal places it needs to display based on uh, what the answer is. I hope this video helps. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. Until next time, take care guys.